Hi friends, welcome to Nessa's Nook. So today I wasn't thinking and the day really got away from me and it is really super late at night. And I thought it was like two o'clock in the afternoon and I have to get dinner started and I didn't pre-think. So tonight we are going to have um, like a beef pot pie. However, you guys all know I'm not super good at the pie crust. However, you can supposedly make that with um, uh, like the Bisquick. So that's what I'm going to be doing tonight. And because I didn't plan ahead, I'm going to have to use my freeze-dried hamburger. So I'll go ahead and bring it down here. And because I'm going to be using some freeze-dried hamburger, I'm going to go ahead and add um, the celery and the onions because that's also not, oops, I don't need that much. Um, because it's also um, not in my can of mixed vegetables. Now, the videos that I watched on this, they were actually using uh, frozen uh, vegetables, but I guess I have frozen, but I thought it'd be easier just to go ahead and use the can because I'm running late and I don't want to have to have wait for that to thaw out. So, go ahead and get this started here. I'm going to go ahead and throw a little bit of hot water, and I'll be right back. All right, because I'm naughty. You know, this is not going to take very long at all to uh, have this soak up the water. So, as I'm getting the rest of the stuff around, it'll be like no time whatsoever. And because I'm being extra lazy today, I'm also not going to be um, making my own uh, can of soup either. <laughs> So this is actually something that's completely, you know, out of cans and stuff. It's not my own homemade stuff, but, you know, it's okay. It doesn't happen all the time. I prefer to obviously make my own, but I do actually have cans of soup for this particular reason right here. I can't believe I didn't, I didn't realize what time it was. I'm going to go ahead and put a little bit of salt, a little bit of pepper, and that's almost done already. <laughs> I'm going to go ahead and mix this up a little bit without the meat in there and the onions and the peppers. Hopefully this turns out good. All right, and because there's just a little bit of water left, I'm going to go ahead and dump out this water. But friends, that is why I love my freeze-dried hamburger. I mean, obviously I love my green peppers and onions and mushrooms. Um, but this is such an easy... Thing to fix especially when you don't I mean yes I pre-cook my hamburger anybody that's been watching me knows that I do pre-cook my hamburger however um, you know there's times that like this that it doesn't work out that well I'm just gonna throw just a little bit you know what I got a little bit of milk right here I'll be fine I just don't like the food to be dry. I don't know why that is. Maybe that's something I learned from my parents. I just don't care for dry looking food. And the soup with a um, little bit of milk is not going to be that bad because that's how you would normally make it anyways. So, I'm going to try to Make this as smooth as possible. Put this aside. Now, I'm just using like some Bisquick mix stuff that was given to me. I don't know. I don't usually use Bisquick. Hopefully this tastes good too. Um, the girl was using a big um, 9 by 13 pan and used one cup. So I used a half a stick of butter. Um, I don't know why she used butter in it, but I'm, that's what I'm doing. I'm following hers. She used one cup of the Bisquick where I'm just using the half a cup. 
and then she used one cup of milk but because I'm only halving everything I'm only gonna do a half a cup of milk too so I'll go ahead and get that whisked up now I guess because I don't work normally with this quick um, I guess it stays kind of liquidy like this I mean, unless you're making biscuits or something, I, I don't think you do like a one-to-one -one ratio. I don't know. Um, but I'm just going by what hers did. Try to get as many lumps out as possible. And I really hate being late on dinner like this. I have to go have an appointment to get my hair cut and everything today. So I'm trying to get everything done. So I'm going to go ahead and I guess she just poured this mixture over the top and you don't spread it in I guess just kind of like spread it over it now she had this in an oven for 400 degrees for an hour I mean that seems a little bit of excessive I will be here so I can actually watch this I don't know for sure if this will need to go for an hour so what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna go ahead and get this over there in the June and I'll be back once this is a little bit further all right friends so this only did take about like a half an hour to bake at the 400 I'm glad I kind of kept an eye on that see how much I can not make a big mess here I'm glad I added that extra liquid to this that's for sure and I know you can't really see that underneath, but that looks pretty kind of tasty. And um, it'll be definitely enough for seconds or uh, another thing for lunch or something like that. So I think I can make it, obviously, with a Bisquick. And I don't think I made it too thick where, um, you know, it would be... Uh, you know too doughy either so anyways that's what the inside is looking like um, obviously you couldn't see that with that first piece but uh, this is dinner today I hope you enjoyed this and um, let me know if you've made something like this or what you did differently thank you very much for stopping by you have a very blessed and wonderful day